wants to show. There. <laughs> This is Habs and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while today. I'm going to show you how you can use regular fiber to achieve this look. It should take 45 minutes max, but if it takes longer, that's okay because it would maybe be your first time trying this method out. So yes, um, you're just going to need a few things. Your fiber, scissor, a needle, a wool or a thread. You're going to need um, a comb, a blow dryer and hot water. So, yes, that's it's going to be great. So you will start off by cutting your fiber into four sections. I'm sure you can notice that I'm using two fibers, two colors rather, a gray and black. So once you've cut your sections, you'll just pull the ends to make sure to get rid of that very blunt end. Detangle it using a combo rib brush, mix your colors if you're using two colors like me, and you can detangle a bit more as well. Once everything is nicely detangled and mixed, you'll take a smaller section, okay? So this is the section that you are going to use, you will braid that here, okay? So for the purpose of the video, I used the pencil to demonstrate, otherwise the rest of the time I was just using my... Um, my toes okay so all you need to do is just grab a piece of hair as big or as small as you want depending on the on the uh size of the curl that you want okay so you'll just braid that all the way down And then you see I have a handful of my braids. Once you've got enough braids, you can just dip them in hot water so they can curl. Okay. You will unravel your twist or your braid. Okay. So you'll take an even smaller section of your now curled hair and then you will tie it in such a way that you leave a hook for your needle to go through. Bro, make it uh, nice and tight. Okay. Push your needle through. You can tie the thread a little bit more just to secure the hair. Okay, I'm gonna try and explain this part a bit more simple. I hope it's gonna make sense. Okay, so you'll take your needle, you'll go under your first cornrow, okay? You'll pull the needle on the other side and then you will just pull the thread till your hair reaches your head. You'll go over that same cornrow then under again just to make sure everything is nice and secure. So you're gonna keep doing the same thing under the cornrow, feed the needle, go over under and then feed and then go under the next one. I hope this makes sense. It's very, very simple. So you'll just continue to do the same thing until your head is filled with hair.
once you are happy with the amount of hair that you have on your hand you can now start to cut to the desired length okay so we're going for a bob bang here okay so i would suggest that you don't right off the bat cut very short start longer and then if you need to go shorter you can do that Okay, so you can play around with your hair, fluff it around up until you've gotten the shape that you want. So that's what I'm doing right here, just cutting shorter, shaping using a blade. Okay, so you can just play around a bit more and blow dry it if you wish. Mine was a bit wet, I had to wait for it to get dry. Otherwise, that's all it should take. Very easy, very quick, very simple. Hope you enjoyed the video. So that is it, you guys. This is the final look. <laughs> okay so here we are finally finished it took way longer than i thought it would uh, it would have taken me like uh four to five minutes but this time i did one hour 15 minutes because i did the hair and then i had to undo it i hope you enjoy watching me do this if you have any questions about anything please leave your questions in the comment section down below we love me